good evening everybody good evening and how are you doing everybody for joining into the quiz in the quizopedia session on animal kingdom go to slido.com and use the code 989299829229 so with all your permission i'm activating the quiz in 3 2 1 and activate the quiz on the screen now you can join the quiz by going to google type slido.com and enter the code 98929 fast everybody we have done ya shri dr go p let's wait for the other participants okay super cool session on animal kingdom and i want you all to read the question and all the four options properly before you answer the question because we have simple expected questions for need 2020 and i want everybody to get the correct answer for all the questions okay so let's have all participants enter the quiz Okay so let's start the quiz in 3 2 1 and all your eyes on the screen you have the very first question on the screen first question who proposed the artificial system of classification option a john ray option b lamarck option c linnaeus and option d wallis who proposed the artificial system of classification john ray lamarck linnaeus and wallis what is it children 50 percentage with lamarck 50 percentage with linnaeus i think only two people have answered this question i don't know why let's have the correct answer Linnaeus is the correct answer for the question, and uh, I have to check the leaderboard after this question itself. We have only Snake and A B joining the quiz. I don't know why. Everybody join the quiz fast. Let's have the second question on to the screen. Second question on the screen: Who formed the key for identification of animal? Read the question: Who formed the key for the identification of animals? And you have the four options. Let's have the majority vote for this question in five seconds. Everybody, majority vote on the screen. Yes, we have John Ray with eighty percentage voting. and let's see the correct answer correct answer is to be john ray third question on to your screen we have only five participants third question on to your screen simple question simple means absolutely simple and humble question which phylum has a true celon option a nidaria option b mollusca option d porifera and option d annelida nidaria mollusca porifera annelida true celon majority vote for the question what is this guys 33 with mollusca 33 with porifera 33 with annelida six persons answered and we have the correct answer to be annelida annelida is to be the correct answer guys Porifera is an acelomate. Acelomate animal is porifera. Next question on your screen. Four out of thirty-five on the screen. Simple question again. Which organism possesses both characteristic of plants and animals? Fifteen seconds remaining. Bacteria, Monera, Euglena, and Mycoplasma. Majority word, fifty percentage of the students with Euglena, and let's reveal the correct answer to be Euglena. Euglena shows is a mixotropic mode of nutrition, right? They show photosynthesis in the presence of light, and they act as predators in the absence of light. 
You have studied this in the chapter 2 biological classification in euglenoids. Correct? Fifth question on the screen. Simple question. Everyone have to give the correct answer. A fat called blubber could be obtained from fat called blubber can be obtained from bat, porpoises, dolphin and blue whale. I want the answer for the question in 3, 2, 1 and majority vote. 40 percentage with the blue whale and blue whale is the correct answer. Next, sixth question on your screen. Which one of the following phylum is characterized by absence of true coelom? Option A, Annelida. Option B, Mollusca. Option C, Echinoderms. Option D, Nematode. Annelida, Mollusca, Echinoderms, and Nematodes. Absence of true coelom. 40 percentage with mollusca and nematoda is the right answer. Pseudocelomate. You have the answer to be pseudocelomate. Nematoda. Seventh question on to your screen. Which one of the following pairs of animals comprises jawless fishes. Which one of the following pairs of animal comprises jawless fishes? Correct answer for this question in 5 seconds on the screen. Those who haven't joined the quiz yet, go to slider.com and use the code 98929. Correct answer is lampreys and hagfish. They comprises the jawless fish. Eighth question on to your screen. Very important question and easy question. I want only one answer. Hope you will make me happy with the same answer. In a sponge, the whole inner surface of the asconoid is lined by option A, quinocytes, option B, porocytes, Option C, pinacocytes and option D, amoebocytes. One answer I need. Everybody has voted with another two answers also. 60 percentage with the quinocytes and the correct answer of the question is quinocytes. Ninth question on to your screen. Which one of the following kinds of animal is triploblastic? Option A, corals. Option B, flatworm. Option D, sponges. And option D, tenophores. Triploblastic animal. Coral, flatworm, sponges, tenophores. Majority words. 50 percentage with the flatworm. And you have the correct answer. As flatworms. Okay. Flatworm is a triploblastic organism among the following. Next you have the 10th question after which you have the very first leaderboard of the day. Which one of the following is not a member of the group Eutheria? Option A. Mall. B. Squirrel. C. Pancoleon. D. Platypus. Pangolin, okay, not pangolin, it's pangolin. Mall, squirrel, pangolin, and platypus. Not a member of the group Eutheria. 50 percentage of the answers with squirrel, and we have platypus is to be the correct answer. I hope this must be the majority or the hardest question, which will be depicted at last. Let's hope. 17 percentage of you guys have only voted. We have the first leaderboard for the question on the screen. Let's check who are the five toppers after 10 questions. Yes, good going. We have Nesreen, then Sneka, Nila, Dhanya Shri, and Epi. Nesreen, 6 on 10, Sneka, 4 on 10, Nila, 4 on 10, Dhanya Shri, 3 on 10, and Epi, 3 on 10. 
Let's have the 11th question on the screen. The dash are undifferentiated embryonic cells and produce sex cells as well. Option A, thesocytes. Option B, myocytes. Option C, archaeocytes. And option D, chromocytes. Answer majority vote on the screen. Forty-three with mesocytes, and the correct answer is archaeocytes. Archaeocytes is another cell, different, undifferentiated embryonic cell. See the lecture for the animal kingdom on our YouTube channel, BioPoint. Stream the world of bio, and go through each and every point that I am discussing with you to get these answers correct. These all are very, very sure shot question. That they may be asking for you need. Twelfth question on the screen. Again, a simple conceptual based question. Which one of the following group of animal is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic? Read the question. Bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic sponges, serenterates, ashelminthes, tenophores. Seventy-five percentage with. Shalmindus or roundworm, and you have it to be the correct answer. Next, you have the thirteenth question on the screen. Why do camels have a long neck? What is the reason behind camels having a long neck? Sorry, everybody. Option A: more vertebrae. Option B: vertebral plates between adjoining vertebrae. Option C: increase in size of each vertebrae, and option D. Cartilage pads between vertebra. We have 50 percentage with vertebral plates between adjoining vertebrae, and the correct answer for the question is the reason for camels having a long neck is the increase in size of each vertebrae. Increase in the size of each vertebrae is the reason why camels have a long neck. Fourteenth question on your screen. Which one of the following animals shows discontinuous distribution? Which one of the following animals shows discontinuous distribution? Option A, green mussels. Option B, bats. C, lungfishes. D, Pacific salmons. Majority word on the screen, you have 50 percentage with lungfishes and lung fish is the correct answer which one of the following animals shows discontinuous distribution you have lung fishes next question on the screen which of the following are egg laying mammals egg laying mammals you have insectivores monotremes marsupials and bats important question Sure, short question for you need. Important. Egg-laying mammal. Oh my god. 63 percentage with monotremes. And the correct answer is monotremes. 16th question. All the eyes on the screen. We have the 16th question on your screen. Which of the following type of fish is eaten usually by humans? Option A, jawless. Option B, bony. Option C, cartilaginous. And option D, all of the above. Simple question. Not important question for me. Simple conceptual based question. Daily used question. From your daily life. I want only one answer for the question. Again, 38% is with bony, on, uh, bony fishes. 63 with all the above. And the correct answer is 38% both voted for bony fishes. We consume bony fishes and we will not consume jawless fishes or cartilaginous fishes. Is it clear? Usually is a term. Usually is mentioned. Usually. Okay, let's have the 17th question on your screen. Which of the following statement is true? 
guys read all the four options first in three or four seconds and then answer the question don't read one by one and click the correct answer and leave the question unanswered in vertebrates process a tubular nerve cord non chordates have a vertebral column all chordates are vertebrates and all vertebrates are chordates which of the following statement is true you have to check whether all chordates are vertebrates or all vertebrates are chordates the correct answer is all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates is it clear hemi chordata we have a uh, word some other connecting links etc like that so all chordates are not vertebrates but all vertebrates are chordates 18th question on your screen which of the following statement is true about round worms option a round worm may reach 5 cm in length option b they are non segmented option c they are generally dark colored and option d they occur only in the soil true about round worm 56 percentage with option b it is the correct answer i cannot have a majority vote in this quiz today and i don't know what happened to my knee 2020 batch oh 19th question on your screen which of the following statement is correct option a platypus lay eggs option b camels have a biconcave rbc whales respire by gills bats do not fly Fifty percentage with option A, thirty-eight percentage with option B, thirteen percentage with whales, option C, and zero percentage with bat. Oh my God, that's great! Correct answer is platypus lay eggs. We have the twentieth question on the screen. Which one of the following group of animals is correctly matched with its one characteristic feature without even a single exception? Very, 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 very hundred percentage. Me, twenty twenty question. My guaranteed MCQ. My guaranteed first MCQ for you guys for me, twenty twenty. Read all the four option and vote. Look, this is how. Oh, this reveals how you do not read all the option. Look, everybody has voted with all the options. Let's check the correct answer for the question. Chondrichthyes possess cartilaginous endoskeleton. What are chondrichthyes? They are cartilaginous fishes, and which all fishes comes under the cartilaginous uh, chondrichthyes? All fishes that possess cartilaginous endoskeleton, and there will no any other fishes will that will have. Body uh, endoskeleton and will come under chondrichthyes. There is no exception mentioned in your NCERT, and moreover, there is no fishes like that. Mammals give birth to young ones. There are exceptions for that. Platypus lay eggs. They are oviparous. Reptilia possess three-chambered heart. Crocodile have four-chambered heart. Chordate possess. We have jawless fishes, right? So let's have the second leaderboard for the day on the screen. Hope there is some changes and all guys are going good. Yes, what is this, guys? Where are you studying and going? Out of twenty, only eleven question answered by the person who scored the first rank. We have snake ha eleven on twenty, then a b nine on twenty, then j m r eight on twenty. Nestrin eight on twenty and Sangal PV six on twenty. I don't know why you are just misusing all these questions. We are doing a great of hard work in order to make all these questions, and we were doing the quiz at Aha Slides, which will save our time, our entire team time. But in order to enable more and more participants to join the quiz. we have enabled the quiz in this particular slido.com and look 
how everybody's studies are going 20 on 11 on 20 9 on 20 8 on 20 6 on 20 and how how is the scores going you would self look 21st question on the screen after 30 i'll have the next leaderboard and let's hope which of the following reptiles have four chambered heart i have repeated the question simple question i'm not going to read the option for you I'm not going to read the option for you and the majority answer on the screen. Again, we have turtle, king cobra, crocodile. In the previous question only, I have told you that four chambered heart among the reptiles is crocodiles and again gone with other answers also and I don't know why. Next question onto your screen, 22nd question. Which of the following is a diploplastic radially symmetrical animal? Which of the following is a diploplastic radially symmetrical animal? Hydra, earthworm, roundworm, liver, fluke. I'm not happy with the answering guys. Not at all happy. I hope you might have not read the NCRT or else you might have not watched our lectures. 57 with Hydra, 43 with earthworm. Correct answer is Hydra. Next question on your screen. Which of the following is a non-poisonous snake? Crate, Cobra, Viper, Python. Crate, Cobra, Viper, Python. Fast. Three seconds majority word on the screen. Python, 56 percentage of the children, which is the correct answer. After 25th question, I'll show you the next leaderboard because I wanted to know how many of you are going good. I'm not at all satisfied with the 20, uh, second leaderboard for the day. Twenty-fourth question, which of the following animal is not a vertebrate? Options, read the options correctly and click on the answer. We have 50 percentage with Amphioxus. Let's reveal the correct answer for the question as Amphioxus. 25th question onto your screen, everybody. What kind of symmetry occurs in C anemone? What kind of symmetry occurs in C anemone? Bilateral, radial, asymmetry, none of these. Majority answer. You don't know even see it. the main problem among the students is that you don't know to which phylum C anemone belongs to. That is the main problem that I am that you are revealing with your majority word answers. Let's reveal the correct answer. Radial symmetry. And look, guys, read the NCRT, read the NCRT, read the NCRT. That's the only thing which I can tell you. C anemone belongs to Celenterata or Nidaria, which is radially symmetrical organisms. We have asymmetrical organisms as sponges or porifera and bilateral symmetry. We have the other organisms. Okay. Apart from uh, Celenterates, we have other organisms showing bilateral symmetry and we have echinoderms also showing radial symmetry. And I wanted to see how the children are going and the leaderboard after the 25th question. We have JMR with 13 on 25, Snake are 12 on 25. After the uh, next five questions after 20, she has answered one question. Next thing, 25, 10 on 25 answered one question. AB, 10 on 25, one question answered. Sangal, eight. I think network issues or might you have not read your NCRT. 
I don't know what's happening with all these guys. Next question onto your screen, 26 question. We have 10 questions remaining. Read the question and all the options and click the correct answer. Have read this or repeated this question several times in your class. In the sponge, which cells are responsible for maintaining water current? Pinacocytes, porocytes, quanocytes, amoebocytes. Look, again gone with poro. This is the third time that this option is coming. Porocytes, quanocytes, amoebocytes. Correct answer is quanocyte. 27th question on your screen. At least guys, use a little bit of common sense and answer this question correctly. Which is not an insect? Which is not an insect? I'm going to reveal the leaderboard after this question. Which is not an insect? Three belongs to the insecta group and one belongs to arachnidae of arthropoda. Mosquito is not an insect. Absolute answer, guys. Termite is not an insect. Absolute answer. Spider. Spider is the correct answer. It belongs to arachnidae. I wanted to show the leaderboard after this question. We have JMR, Sneka, Nesreen, Sangalp and AB. I think only Sangalp and AB, uh, Sangalp have answered, Sangalp and Nesreen have answered the question correctly. I don't know. 28th question. Which is non-poisonous? Centipede, scorpion, spider, crab. Easy question. Easy question. Non-poisonous. Centipede, scorpion, spider, crab. Majority vote on the screen. 67 percentage with the crab and my God, my goodness. 29 question on your screen. If you have gone through your NCIT textbook at least once a while, when we have issued the timetable or schedule for the day, you will give the correct answer for this question. Limbless amphibian. Important. Repeated times neat MCQs. Limbless amphibian. One answer in your NCRT and I want that one answer. Majority. My God. My goodness. 89 percentage with the office. Feeling good. 30th question on your screen. Cold-blooded animals are. Read all the four options thoroughly, clearly, correctly. Answer the question. Do not click your answer after reading the one and two options. Read all the one to four options correctly. Concentrate on your all the options and click the correct answer. Which have cold blood who feel cold a lot, who can regulate their temperature, who cannot regulate their temperature. The correct answer is cold-blooded animals are those who cannot regulate their temperature. Leaderboard after 30 questions. Five more remaining. We have JMR going good. Sneka going good. Sangal, Nesreen, Danyashri. AB have gone from the leaderboard, I suppose. 35th question onto your screen. Next, we have some difficult question. 31 to 35 are some statement question. Which one of the following statement is incorrect? Option A, VV parity is the reproductive pattern shown by most animal. Option B, VV parity occurs primarily in salamanders and Sicilians. Option C, in VV parity, a shell does not form around the egg. Option D, VV parity is not found in species of lizard and snakes. Good guys, everybody have voted for the four options. And if it was number one, uh, another one option also included, you might have voted for that also. Answer is, VV parity is not found in the species of lizards and snake. That is the incorrect statement. 32nd question. Which one of the following statement is stated incorrectly regarding cartilaginous fishes? Cartilaginous fishes have sense organ, 
Most cartilaginous fishes have color vision. Teeth like placoid scales are found on the skin of cartilaginous fishes. In cartilaginous fishes, gas exchange occurs in the gills. 60% with option C, but the correct answer is most cartilaginous fishes have color vision. Okay, 33rd question. Which statement is correct regarding reptiles, birds and mammals? No guys, I'll not show the leaderboard now. After the quiz only, I'll show the leaderboard. Which statement is correct regarding reptiles, birds and mammals? Evolved from a common ancestor, embryos are surrounded by a fluid-filled sac called amnion. Outer covering is largely watertight and optionally all the above. 88 percentage with all the above answer guys the most important thing is nearly 60 to 70 percentage of the question if all the above is option there all the above will be the answer but there are certain 40 percentage of question where they might put all the above you may feel all the options similar but you the answer will not be all the above okay 34th question onto your screen which one of the following characteristic is not shared by birds and mammals? Option A, a backbone and internal skeleton, breathing using lungs, viviparity, warm-blooded nature. Not shared by birds and mammals. Sixty-three viviparity. 38 warm blooded. Correct answer is viviparity. Birds are oviparous, animals are viviparous, and there are exceptions. The last and the final question of Wikipedia session on Animal Kingdom onto your screen in 3, 2, 1, and all your eyes on the screen. You have the last and the final question of the day. Which one of the following statement is incorrect? Option A, radial symmetry. Option radial symmetry is displayed by sea anemone and aquatic animal. Option B, Fasciola hepatica is also known as a sheep liver fluke. C, triploblastic animals are usually bilaterally symmetrical and option E, mesoglia is present in between ectoderm and endoderm in ovelia. Incorrect statement and you have the correct answer to be Mesoglia is present between ectoderm and endoderm in obelia. Last and the final leaderboard. Let's move on with the final leaderboard for the day. We have JMR, Sneha, Sangal. Nesreen and Danya Shri. Congratulations to all the winners and the hardest question is which one of the following is not a member of the group Eutheria? Only 17% of you guys have voted for the correct answer. Congratulations JMR, Sneka, Sangal, Nesreen, Danya Shri. I'm not at all satisfied with this quiz because only 19 questions answered by the topper. Followed by 18, 15, 14 and 14. Nobody have crossed at least 25. Simple and expected 100% neat MCQs are being included. And for more quizzes on Wikipedia slides and session, please do subscribe our wonderful channel BioPoint, Stream the World of Bio. Please do like, share and subscribe our wonderful channel, share it with your friends and let's see you with the next session tomorrow, sharp at 10 o'clock. Okay, with the next Questopedia session, I hope. Okay, so please do join the Telegram, a wonderful, super cool Telegram group for the latest updates on the sessions and the schedules. Okay, anyway, thank you and let's meet with the next session tomorrow. Thank you, everybody.